Hello party people, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Tori, thank you so much for being here today. For today's video, I'm gonna show you all of the outfits that are in my current rotation. These are the outfits I keep going back to over the past couple of months. I feel like this video is really fun. One, it's kind of an archive for myself to see what pieces I'm gravitating towards right now. And the second reason why I like to do this is because I just feel like it's, it puts things into perspective a little bit. Like I talk a lot about trends on this channel. I do a lot of hauls, but here are the things that as you can tell, I actually am getting a lot of wear out of. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, let's start off with the current outfit I'm wearing. I have this button up, which I got from Cotton On in like November-ish. I got it originally to wear to a Harry Styles concert because my friend and I were doing like a pajama theme. And this is just a top that I like to throw on when I'm feeling lazy. And I'll pair it with yoga pants or jorts, but this is kind of my usual routine. I also tell that I've gotten a lot of wear out of this because I have a coffee stain on myself. I spilled coffee on myself this morning and didn't even realize until I got home. Um, but I also vlogged like all of April and this is one of the shirts that I was wearing quite often. And this is actually the bag that I've been wearing the most. I've been getting a lot of use out of it both as a crossbody. Also, I can remove the crossbody and I can wear it like this. So she's very versatile and I've been getting a lot of wear out of these three pieces. Okay, this is the second outfit that I've been wearing a lot lately as well. I got this really fun, kitschy printed top from Portland when I went with my mom. And I also got this really fun necklace from Urban Outfitters in Portland. If you've been following this channel, you know that I love a kitschy print top and this one is no exception. I really love the like warm tones and colors in this top and it's just, it's a statement on its own so I don't really have to think about anything else. Okay, so I wanna say that maybe about like two months ago now, I spent a whole day at the mall. I had no budget and no time restriction, and my only goal for the day was to find jeans that actually fit me. While I was at the mall, I ended up buying three pairs of jeans and one pair of shorts, and this is one of those pairs of jeans. These are from American Eagle, and they have this really fun 70s-inspired pockets and flare. And I really just wanted to get nice jeans for myself because I started to realize that all the denim I had, like most of them, were very ill-fitting. And because they didn't fit me right, I did not feel like inclined to get dressed or put on an outfit. So I got these jeans and I'm honestly so in love with them. I wear them all the time. They do have a bit of stretch, so I do dry them just to kind of like smush them and like get them back to their natural state. But I love them and I wore these a lot in New York along with this like Abercrombie vest that I got maybe like a year and a half ago now. And I don't know, this outfit is just, so simple, but still so cute. So yeah, this is one of my most worn outfits of the springtime. This is another one of the outfits I've been wearing a lot lately, and I feel like it's actually a very trendy outfit combination. I've been seeing a lot of people having the really oversized graphic tee with either a slip skirt or like some kind of see-through kind of long skirt. But this is my take on it, and I've just been wearing this a lot lately as well. If you also saw any of my April vlogs, you will have seen this shirt a lot. I feel like not much else I can say about it. This is one of the few outfits I've been wearing that actually has color. We've got a little purple color blocking going on. Okay, this next outfit is a Canadian tuxedo that I have been wearing a lot lately. I wore it a lot during the month of April, but also when I went on my most recent New York trip, I brought a, I brought only a carry-on. So I brought very select pieces in my closet and these three pieces made it over. I have this thrifted jacket. The brand is J. Jill. I have this t-shirt that says In Solidarity from Deep End Club. And then I have this pair of Maywell flares that I bought during that one trip to the mall I told you about. But yeah, this outfit is just another one that I feel very confident in, that I've been wearing a lot. I feel like it's 
perfect for those spring days where you don't really know the temperature. If it's a little windy, I throw on the jacket. If it's not, I take off the jacket. But sometimes I will wear this with a black belt, but I feel like today it looks really good without it. Um, and I'll always wear these Sunny's Studios glasses. I, but yeah, this is one of those outfits I was definitely stomping around Manhattan, feeling like a cool girl in. I kind of joke that this outfit is a bit Alexa Chung coded because her friend Tennessee owns the company Deep End Club, but yeah, that's the look. This outfit is basically my going out, but I'm not feeling the hottest outfit. I have this zebra blouse with these really fun ruffle sleeves and this really fun pleats detailing that I thrifted a while ago. And normally I'll wear this with like a pair of black jeans or black slacks, but all of my dark pants are currently in the wash, so I'm just wearing this really fun like knitted pair. But this is kind of my go-to whenever we're going out to get drinks or like dinner. I'll leave the last bit unbuttoned as well. Um, but yeah, just a simple outfit that I've been throwing on because I'm still in a physical slumpy slump. Okay, this last outfit, I know what you're thinking. You might be saying, Tori, you just showed both of these pieces in a haul. How can they already be some of your most worn pieces? Well, when I was in New York, I was bopping around. I had a very limited wardrobe situation. And then one day, all of my clothes got soaked because I was schlepping my luggage between Brooklyn and Manhattan. So I went shopping and I basically bought this ensemble. So I already wore out these pieces while I was in New York. And then I came home, I already wore this outfit. And by the time you're watching this video, I'm pre-recording some videos. So I will be in Europe, definitely wearing both of these pieces. Maybe not always together, but these two pieces are definitely some of my most worn. I was a cargo skirt girly at the beginning of the year, so it felt only right to become a cargo pant girly. So yeah, I'm calling this one of my most worn outfits as well. So you can do anything about it. <laughs> That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you wanna see more of me, feel free to follow me on Instagram or TikTok. Hopefully I'm daily vlogging on TikTok like I said I would. Um, if you wanna know what I'm reading, feel free to follow me on Storygraph. I think that's it for all of my social plugs. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you for the next one. Bye.